ஆர் குக்கிங் திஸ் இஸ் நியூஸ் ஆன் தி கோ ஆ மம்மத பாலச்சந்திரா I'm going to begin with the guidelines that government has released for home isolation. So this is for people who have very mild symptoms or are in their early phase of COVID-19. I'm going to tell you who is going to be eligible for home isolation. First, a person should be clinically assigned as a very mild case by a treating medical officer, which means you don't get to decide. The person should also have that kind of facility to be able to isolate at home so the family members can be safe in that case. A caregiver should be made available 24 by 7. and a communication between the caregiver and the hospital is a must Now the guidelines also say that medicine should be taken regularly and arogya setu application should also be downloaded and active at all times There are separate instructions for caregivers and patients as well including the fact that both of them must wear a three layered mask and of course the medical officer will be the person to decide whether the home isolation can end once the symptoms are gone China has now said that they're deeply concerned after India halted rapid test kits. Well, the Indian Medical Council of Research has currently asked states to not use and return two China-made rapid test kits saying that they had variations on field. This came after states like Rajasthan expressed concern over low accuracy. Well, it seems like this wasn't well received by China. The spokesperson of the Chinese embassy has now in a statement said that they are deeply concerned with the decision made by the Indian Medical Council of Research and that China attaches great importance to quality of products. They also went on to say many countries have been purchasing their medical products and that it's unfair and irresponsible for certain individuals to label Chinese products as faulty and to look at issues with preemptive prejudice. Let me also tell you a decision that's coming from Mumbai saying that Mumbai cops above 55 years of age will now stay at home. Now unfortunately three police personnel have lost their lives due to COVID-19 in Mumbai already the worst affected city in India so far. The police commissioner of Mumbai has now asked police personnel above the age of 55 to stay at home. Additionally, anybody above 50 years of age who has ailments such as hypertension, diabetes etc have also been asked to stay at home. The government has now said plasma therapy is still in an experimental stage. Well, we've been hearing a lot about plasma therapy, right? And how it's yielding encouraging results across the country. Plasma therapy is when you transfuse plasma that is rich in antibodies from a recovered COVID-19 person to a critically ill patient. In a briefing today, the government has now made it clear that plasma therapy is only in its early stages so far and is currently being conducted as an experiment. The government has also gone on to say that it's not been approved for COVID-19 yet, which means that there is no confirmed treatment for COVID-19 till now. And my personal favorite because it's not all bad out there the government has now said that covid-19 recovery rate in india is at 23% that number you'll be happy to know is much higher than the mortality or the death rate due to covid-19 which means more number of people are recovering in the country while india has reported 29435 positive cases 6868 people have recovered till now that is great news And I'll leave you with that piece of good news as Amitabh Balachandra signing off. I'll be back again tomorrow and in the meantime stay home, stay safe.